Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here taking a look at the Intel smartphone. This is just a reference design of their Intel Atom processor. The inevitable has happened. Intel has gone mobile. And this is the Z2460 processor. So let's let Intel explain to us what their processor can do. Now this is running Android 2.3, it's gingerbread. One of the main things with powerful phones like this is that the battery consumption is terrible, usually. Not with this. Our usage figures are top of the tree. Our standby times are 14 days. 3G talk time is eight hours. So this is a very, very, very efficient chip from Intel. And what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna show you some demonstrations that's gonna give you an idea of the raw power that this thing has. First thing I wanna show you very quickly is the browsing performance. In benchmarks, we come up top in browsing. If I show you the BBC website, you have to bear in mind we're at CES, the connection here should be amazing, but because everyone's drawing on it, it's not so good. But you can, you can pinch and zoom into this, you can click on links. It should be a lot quicker than this, but you'll see how quickly the page loads. And it loads all together. It's very, very nice. Now Java has been optimized on this phone, and I've downloaded a Java game just to show you. Dragonfly, it's one of my favorite games. It should give you an idea of how quick this runs. So this is Java running on the Intel Atom processor. You'll see it's smooth, it's slick, and it's exactly as it should be. It runs very, very nicely. But Java games are fun, casual gaming's fun, but what about 3D gaming? Well, that's where we really start to push the processor and see what it can do. This is called... Uh, Modern combat. I'm not very good at this, so you're going to have to bear with me. However, I've been shut up. what you'll see is that the frame rate never slows down. The frame rate never slows down. It doesn't glitch. I'm not very good. This is a 1080p video. I've got an HDMI cable. So HDMI cable going into the TV. I'm going to play some video for you. That's 1080p video. Beautiful, right? What's most amazing about it is that if you feel the phone, feel the back of the phone, it's cold. It's not hot. Well, normally when you play video, you play games, it gets hot. I'd be doing this all morning. But the phone never gets hot. Anyone who plays 1080p videos at home will know that you can't really do this very well. You can't skip from one part of the video to the next because it's 1080p. It, it has to buffer, it stutters. But well, watch this. I can go to the middle. I can go to the end. I can go to the beginning. There's absolutely no hesitation. There's no stuttering. It's, it's fluid. It's exactly as it should work. So let me show you something else. We've been working with a company called Immersive Media. They create 360 degree HD videos. If you don't know what that is, I'm about to show you. Do so. What's nice about this is I can look up. And I, can, I, can, I can look down. Um, I can look around and uh, I can hear some girls talking in the background so I can I can just turn around and uh, look up and there they are and I can zoom in on them they look happy but what's interesting about this is that I have a 360 degree view of a 180p video but as you can see it doesn't matter how much I mess with this the frame rate doesn't change, the video doesn't stop, it doesn't glitch, it works seamlessly, it works perfectly. And this phone also integrates now seamlessly with uh, desktop devices and laptops. If you want to find out what that means, Dan and Alistair over there are doing some demonstrations that are really cool. We'll show you how Intel are integrating those two together. Thank you very much for your time. You. No one likes the difficulty and precision needed when parallel parking. But when you use the active park assist feature found on the Focus, you remove the stress by using ultrasonic sensors to identify an open parking spot. Pair this with the rear view camera and the car practically parks itself for you. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.